Okay, so how do you increase your open rate on your email marketing? I'm gonna show you a simple, simple trick. It's not a trick, okay? It's very, very simple once I teach it to you. And every single time, as long as your emails are delivering, you're gonna have a very, very high open rate every single time. Now, so let's talk, let's go back. So an email, okay, an email has a subject line that's gonna determine your open rate, the number of people, the percentage of people who actually clicked on, they saw an email and they clicked on that email to find out what exactly it is. That's called an open rate, right? Now, whenever people read your email and actually click on the link, it's called the click-through rate, okay? So for example here, okay, I guess it's not. So I'll show it to you, let me see if it, focus, focus here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's an email I just sent out right now. Okay, it has a subject line. It says, this tool is gonna help email marketer and at the body, there's a short, short email. Now, let's go ahead and talk about that low. So, okay, let's go back. So, so okay, so the subject line, it's gonna determine your open rate and the actual link on here, that's your click through rate. So for the actual body of the email, you need to follow something called ADA, ADA method, okay? A-I-D-A, -A, email marketing. If you search it on YouTube, you'll find me and I'll teach that to you in a different video. But let's go and talk about how do you write a perfect subject line every single time. The biggest mistake people make is that they give away what's inside the email Yes, you do. Now think about it for a second, okay? Every time you've sent an email out, you're like, oh, my open rate is so low. It's low because of two reasons. Okay, number one, you know, uh, number one is, uh, you know, your email's not being delivered properly. So if, you, if it's not being deli delivered properly, talk to your email marketing, you know, autoresponder company, get them to fix it, okay? You're paying them money, okay? You should get them to fix it. Number two is, you know, it's because the actual subject line, you're revealing what's inside it. Now, for example, most people are like, oh, 50% off, okay? I, okay, 50% off, okay. I know it now, I don't need to open it anymore, right? So why, are, why would people even open up the email? They wouldn't, okay? So the goal of the subject line is to make it, you know, mysterious, okay? So for example, my subject line for this was, I put an emoji, emoji is gonna go ahead and if people get a lot of email, if you put an emoji on there, people think emoji is gonna lower your delivery rate, it's not, okay, it's not, okay? Um, go ahead and put like, you know, some sort of emoji, I like to put like a stop sign or like a fire emoji, right? And then I says, this tool changes email marketing forever, so, I sent it out, okay? If I sent this email, I did send it out this to, and I sent this email out to the right people, okay? I sent it out to almost, uh, let's say, 11,000 people, and my open rate at this time in one, you know, within an hour is almost 38%, okay? Why is that? It's because the subject line is curious. It's very, very, you know, it's mysterious. What's in it, okay? So let me give you more examples. So. Today, write up an email, whatever promotion that you have going on, and the subject line should be, open this in private. That's it, open this in private. Okay, now, people are like, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna open it, okay? So you see, right? People should not know what's inside the email. Some people will call it unethical marketing, I call it, you know, it, it works, okay? You wanna be able to, you wanna get people to open up your email so that your open rate goes up, that's number one. You wanna get people to read that short email, and the goal of that email is to get people to click on that link. So you can, you know, your click-through rate goes up, and you do all the magic on your sales page when people click that link. So, subject line, okay? I'm, I'm gonna give you more examples. So. Uh, uh, you know, I should be fired for this, okay? Uh, just, a, just a shoe, like, you know, an emoji, right? And then, like, for example, only open it in private. Um, let me show what I said. Did you get this, okay? Uh, are you stupid, okay? Um, hey, just a question mark, okay? Um, and just put, like, a amount. So for example, I put, uh, you know, 200K dollar sign, that's it, that's all I did, okay? And then I said, uh, I one of them I said nothing to sell. People know that I sell every chance I get, right? But I said nothing to sell. See what I did there, okay? I'm gonna give you more examples here, so. Uh, did you see this plugin? Okay. Okay, get more leads with this plugin, flip domains in 10 minutes, uh, you know, um, uh, 
recurring money. So see these things, these are for MMO niche, like make money online niches, but it can work for anybody. So today I want you to write an email and just put, open this in private, okay? Trust me, it's gonna get the best open rates that you have ever, 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 you know, done, okay? And then after that, I want you to experiment writing up subject line where you are intriguing people. You're like, it's mysterious. People should not know what's inside the email. People should be like, oh, let me see what's in it because you want to grab their attention and get them to actually, you know, click open on that on that email. So I hope that helps. Okay, that's how you that's how you can write a good subject line to have a good open rate. So Satish Gear here from Dallas, Texas. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go to my channel. There's a bunch of videos just like this on business, marketing, copywriting, business hacks, and if you have a question please ask me, okay, please ask me here. And then on the comments, tell me, okay, what do you do? Are you a copywriter, freelancer? What do you sell? Maybe your product, what do you sell? Put it in the comments and I'll take a look at it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you again.